So I had to have my own little red eye moment. Oh, no? Whoa, no? whoa, 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 whoa. I thought whoa, I heard whoa, speed. Whoa. I thought I heard speed. <laughs> All right, Rachel, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we can just sleep. Okay. Uh, first of all, red shirt, red eye. So appropriate. Thank you very much. You were thinking I am. when I'm you got dressed thinking. this morning. Yeah, I had a little red eye moment uh, earlier today. I was uh, a friend of mine, uh, this new guy, never met him before, sat down in this room and they go, oh, I'll be back in five minutes. Just talk to him. What, what are you doing? Oh, today I've got to do interviews with Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams, oh my God, can I go with you? Because I just know if I meet her, uh, she'll, 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 we'll be dating. And I'm like, yeah, right. Because you know, if I was 20 years younger, I'd be dating her and so forth. <laughs> but it brings up a red eye moment because you, in this character, Lisa cannot get away. She's trapped on a right. plane. So now that you're becoming, you know, everywhere, magazines, movies, and so forth, have you ever been trapped somewhere with somebody, as somebody recognizes you and you can't get away or something? Oh, um, I've been pretty lucky so far. People don't usually recognize me. I just kind of slip by, slip under the radar. That's because every time I see you, you have a different My hair, hair is color. hair's a different color, I know. But is that fun? <laughs> Are you doing it for a role? No, just this one's, this time it's just for me. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Just okay. thought it would be fun. Now, I, being that movies don't take an hour and a half to film and they take several months, there's a lot of confinement in this movie. You're on this mm. makeshift plane. Do you get to know your co-stars and the extras a lot better than you, in this movie than you did in other movies? Oh, definitely. I mean, you spend so much time together. Um, so fun that the couple behind us were always playing computer games and we always got really wrapped up in that. Um, and Killian and I would, you know, do the crossword or, you know, just... Uh, you know, and Wes is Wes is great too. Wes loves to have fun on his movies. You know, he he's he really enjoys what he does. Well, this every time I hear Wes Craven, I've I've always heard the word legend or trust with mm. him. What is it about Wes that brings that about? I mean, well, I guess they do go hand in hand. If you're a legend, you know, you, you must know something about what you do, and therefore, you know, there's some inherent trust in your director. So, you know, he I just I thought he'd be great doing this movie. You know, everyone says it's it's a departure, but I don't think, uh, you know, it makes sense to me that he that he could, you know, this is this needs to be a thrill ride. It needs to put people on the edge of their seats, and you know, he's a master at doing that. Every time, like with Batman, the girls just go nuts over Killian. I don't know whether it's his eyes or what, but th they just love him. I mean, mm. I look at him, I'm just like, yeah, it's like looking in the mirror, you know, as you well know. What, what is it about this guy that, that drives the women wild? <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I mean, he's got that Irish thing happening. He's got those hypnotic eyes. He's he's a very kind, very funny, very smart guy, you know. I mean, he's catch. Now, in all your other movies, we've seen every possible emotion, except for, we. I think we've seen the final uh, Rachel McAdams emotion here. We saw terror. Terror. Is this the first time you did terror? Because, I mean, we you know, we did the emotional crying, the laughing, mm. and all that stuff, but this is something new. Or at least that I've seen it. Oh, definitely. I mean, I, uh, you know, I've never done this genre before, and and uh, you know, that was one of the exciting things about about this role was that it was something new, and I was terrified to take it on, and I knew that that I, I had to try it. Now, Elisa uh, is so organized, and she can handle anything. She's a juggler, you know, no no problems. What about Rachel McAdams in your <laughs> life? I'm not quite as organized as Lisa. <laughs> Anyone that's seen my bedroom can, uh, you know testify to that but um, I'm trying I'm getting better as I get older but I'm a little I'm a little bit more scattered than Lisa are you having tr uh, trouble trying to convince people when you tell them oh I'm in a Wes Craven film that this is not a horror movie um, I mean you know you you just it's a psychological thriller you know and, and uh, you know Wes has departed from the horror you know genre before he did that amazing uh, drama with Meryl Streep and um, you know he, he, you know, he's 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 a good director. He can do all kinds of things. He's very versatile. So, yeah. so what is going on now? I mean, what, I mean, you're listen. You're on the. They always said she's on the cusp of stardom, but this is your first starring role. I mean, how are you handling the success? Um, it's uh, it's been quite a ride so far. It's been a real trip. Um, uh, I I don't know. I, I there's really no instruction manual. There's no you know there's no book that tells you how to do it. So. Just gonna try to you know keep working, keep you know doing roles that roles that interest me and and playing different characters and hope for the best. Well, as your biggest stock, I mean not stalker, I mean as your biggest <laughs> fan, you know I'm gonna be right there with you. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Thanks for the support. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs>